To save a file for a web, uh, you want to have your document open, and then you can go up to File, Save for Web. And the Save for Web dialog box comes up. And here is where you can um, decide what kind of web graphic you want to save. So right now, this is saved as, as a GIF. And you can change that to a different web type graphic if you want. It can be a JPEG or a PNG graphic. Uh, let's change it to JPEG, for example. And when it becomes a JPEG, um, you can change the background color. So right now, the transparent areas of the original document, let me go to the original document, the transparent areas are being filled with this dark gray color. If you want to change that, you can change it to white or to something else. Um, now, the different tabs allow you to compare uh, the original graphic with a web optimized graphic. So let me turn this back to GIF. And I have the transparent option selected. And right now I can see that the file size is going to be about 2.6K. That's really reasonable. It's small. Um, if I change the number of colors, you will see that the file size changes as well. So let me move, change this from 64 colors to 128 can see that there's more colors now that can be used in the final graphic and you can see that the file size went up slightly. Now if I were to reduce the number of colors, let's say the 8, you can see the quality of the graphic has gone down a lot and that's because it's being limited to only 8 colors that can be used to create the graphic. Um, and you can see that the file size, there isn't too much of a difference, so really the best option would be to have uh, more colors so that the graphic looks good. Um, without a noticeable increase in the file size. The same thing works with um, JPEG graphics as well. Give me a second and I'll open up a photo and then we can save that as a JPEG and see how the different settings affect it. Okay, so here I have a photo. Let me go ahead and go to File, Save for Web. And for photos, they're usually better if you save them as JPEGs. Um, there's better compression without too much loss of quality. And again, make a note of the file size down here. It's 31K. I'm going to change the quality. Now you can do it by choosing kind of set levels here. Let's try low. And notice that there's a little bit of pixelation in the graphic now. It's not as crisp. Um, let's try very high or maximum. You can see that now it's 152K, which is a really huge file. Now what we can do is we can kind of slowly back down the quality and just pay attention to the graphic and see how it looks. And what you want to do is you want to find a good compromise between file size and quality. So at 65, it's 45, uh, 46K. Um, the quality still isn't too bad. Let's try backing it down a little bit more. And at 45, the image still looks pretty good. Um, and it's at 27K. So I might choose to save it at about um, medium, so around 45% quality. Now if we were to try to save the same image as a GIF, it would be a huge file. And let's um, change this to... You can see that with eight colors, that the, a lot of the graphic is lost. So let's increase the number of colors. And now the image looks pretty good. Um, there's a little bit of pixelation around the ed around the dark areas, um, just because it's limited to the number of colors it can use. But you can see how huge the file size is. So really, for photos, JPEGs are better. Um, for graphics that are going to be transparent or um, you know are more icon-like, GIFs are better or PNGs are better for those.